Hello everybody. Before I put out today's video and we get it all started here, I want to ask you to watch this video to the end. I have a message for you all and a special request. So if you would, stick around to the end of this video and I would very much appreciate it and hear my message I have for you there. Let's get this day started. Well, I have some good news. Some good, good news. Those um, sick yearlings that I doctored, gave antibiotic shots to, gave that boluses to, they are already doing better, super fast. Their scours have already stopped. Uh, they're already more energetic. Their, their poo is normal now, the way the poo should look. And that is a good sign. I've got them on a little bit of, uh, alfalfa let me show you here here they are and they have already lost the scours scours is like diarrhea okay you know when cows will say they got the scours so they got dry bobos now not wet bobos but that's a relief yeah and they're poos in normal piles they really lost some weight down quick. This one lost more than the others did. Yeah. But the good news is, is I caught it and got it taken care of. Come down here, I'm putting out some, putting out alfalfa beets here for them. And, uh, That'd be a good little diet for them right now, too, while they're recovering. This alfalfa's got lots of protein and all in it. So they'll eat that up. I believe I'm going to take these over and put them in the lot to where the yearlings are that I'm hauling to the sale. So once those get to the sale, I'll come back and haul these over there into that there's still good grass there and i've got a bunch of hay bales there with really great hay only thing is i'll have to haul water to them but i know that they'll gain back some weight there and and further recover man i bet you that one right there uh, noting how much weight they've lost it's, it's things like that happen but you know it's very rare on this farm that we get that so uh I still count as a blessing. And this little red one was looking so good before he lost some weight down, but he'll recover it back. the one that lost the most right there that one's not too bad and he's pretty good but they're still a little a little weak a little lethargic man whatever hit them hit them hard 
there's all this hay in here i'll get these water troughs filled up and they can graze and they can eat good hay both They done discovered that bell of hay there and they're on it. Get that slit under right there, push it through. There you go. Well, my tailgate sprung a leak. Man, look at that. My tailgate sprung a leak right there. Now I'm going to have to find a shop that can do tailgate repair. Fix that leak. If it ain't one thing, it's another. Well, welcome to a Filipino farming in Texas. The lovely Miss Melinda's over here trying to climb a tree like a crazy person to what? get persimmons. Yeah, right here. <laughs> yeah, what about that one right there? Mm. Just felt it. Man, look at that. Well, I pulled that trailer up where you could climb on top of it mm -hmm. and get all those right over there. <laughs> well, you got to put them in. Mm. Let's burst this joker open here. Boy, look at all this yummy goodness right here. Man, look at that. Look at that. Mm. You like the one that I dry, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> look at my teeth. Oh my god. <laughs> Delicious. Mm. Man, man. That is so good. My goodness. It's so warm for having just wild things like it's growing on your property. Mm. Man, what a treat. Some mushrooms go with this meal? I don't think so. Mm -hmm. I, I wouldn't know which ones are safe and not safe to eat. And boy, I ain't going to touch that one. It's not safe, especially like doing the food. That's exactly what I'm saying. <laughs> Look at that. That is just beautiful. Just sweetness right there. These are like the most bitter thing you can taste when they're green. And they are nothing but like sugar once they ripen. Of course, these got seeds in them. It's just a wild variety, which is real small. Yeah, small. Your domesticated varieties like Japanese and Chinese persimmons, they're big like an apple. Man, so good. I can just imagine long ago when the land was raw and people roaming through forests, they knew exactly when the time of year to find these. Man, just out picking berries, picking wild fruits like this and stuff. You know, it probably meant a whole lot more to them than what it means to everybody these days.
Boy, it's covered with them too, isn't it? Boy, up in the top, it is super thick. I mean, they are thick on there. Let me zoom up here, folks. I think y'all can probably see it, but just look at that. Just look at that. Isn't that something? Mm. Not that. Don't look at that. Look at the persimmons. Be good. We'll go up and around like this. We'll go. And we'll see the other side of the tree. There we go. Oh, yeah, the wild animals love it. If we set a game camera here, no telling what we'd watch at night. We ought to do that. We ought to bring game, game camera over one of them that we're not using. It. Just set it here and see what all does come and eat them. Bet you see a lot of raccoons going up and down. Hey, everyone. I want to thank you for continuing to support our channel even though many of you came on to see philippine stuff and the philippine house build and our life there at the beach but you've endured all these past months with us of being back in texas like many of you have before the year before i just really want to thank you personally for your great support always and continuing to follow us even though it's maybe not the content that you originally started viewing when you started watching our channel i I tell you, it means a lot to us for you to stick in there with us like that. It won't be long. We'll be back over there, and we'll be back on that journey. Now, I know I haven't really shared a lot about what's going on over there while we've been back here in the U.S. Um, part of it's just some myself. I just kind of try to close that out because I miss it there. I miss it there a lot, and it kind of makes me sad in my heart uh, if I share a lot of stuff on it. So daily, though, we watch our cams, and we talk to the family there daily. And the yard's looking beautiful. The place, you know, of course, it needs us there to finish it out. And the banana trees and all the plants are growing so nice. I'm going to ask my sister-in-law today if she will walk around uh, with her phone and record some short clips of the place around there. And, and, all, and we can put together a video and show you guys and maybe the house and stuff. But before you leave this video right now, I'm going to go up here and put up a link to the video starting back at our build series on our house at day one. I appreciate if you'd watch that. And if you would, that would be a big bonus for us, you know, kind of keep our channel going strong and uh, kind of revive those videos back up some. So uh, if you'd be a champ and support us by watching those videos again, heck, if you ain't got nothing else going on and turn them on and just let it play you know i would really appreciate that a lot and get the algorithm back wound up and get it ready for us to be back in the philippines thank you much and god bless